Welcome back to another Perennial Order devlog. In our previous episode, we introduced you to the concept of our game, touching on its inspirations, music and gameplay elements. Today we will look closer into the themes and genres that define Perennial Order, along with some additional details about the combat mechanics. Themes and Genre Perennial Order is a unique 2D plant horror boss rush game set in an atmospheric Dark Age world played by nature-infested creatures. The game features stunning, realistic, painterly 2D art bringing to life a lore-rich, eldritch land where you will confront enemies either alone or with a friend. While Perennial Order is primarily a boss rush game, it incorporates elements from various genres, including Souls-like and action-adventure titles. Exploration as you navigate the world of Perennial Order, you will encounter unique bosses at every corner, each presenting a different kind of challenge. From puzzle-like encounters that test your wit to intense one-on-one -on -one duels, every boss battle requires skill and strategy. Exploration is a major highlight in Perennial Order. Each area is intentionally distinct with hidden areas that you'll only uncover by exploring different secondary paths. Along the way, you will interact with a variety of intriguing NPCs, these interactions will let you discover pieces of lore and narrative, which will be lodged into your notebook. Some NPCs may even offer rewards or present puzzles or riddles for you to solve. Combat Combat in Perennial Order features a unique twin-stick melee system which lets you aim attacks wherever you want, and if you land a specific timing, you do a critical attack. Learning this timing is core to improving and overcoming challenges. Beyond basic attacks and dashes, players can unlock 32 unique skills known as instincts. These instincts can be obtained by defeating bosses, discovering secrets, or completing challenges. They can be passive or active, offering a range of abilities to enhance your gameplay. Active instincts can be equipped and activated to perform their ability. Equipping an instinct costs a certain amount of memory. You will begin with 3 memory and can gain a 7 more throughout the game for a total of 10. Managing memory effectively and balancing instincts is crucial for customizing your playstyle and adapting to different boss encounters. It's also important to find the right combination of instincts for each boss, as some abilities may work better against specific bosses than others. Co-op In two-player mode, whether you're playing with a friend, online or locally, bosses will have adjusted hit points, adding an extra layer of challenge. While this may sound intimidating, don't worry. If one player dies during a fight, they enter a spirit form to assist the surviving player with unique co-op specific abilities called Vestiges. This feature ensures that both players remain actively engaged throughout the game. And that covers everything you need to prepare for the dangers of the world overrun by nature's horrors. Thank you for joining us in this perennial order devlog, we hope you've enjoyed this in-depth exploration of the game's themes, genres and mechanics.